When it comes to Roblox doors, which entity out of the bunch appears to have the most illogical and rather interesting powers out of the whole entire game? Well, if you thought it was Jack, then you are correct. This is the true origin of Jack within Roblox doors. Are you a big fan of Jack? Well, let us know your biggest moments with him down below, and let's learn more behind this story. As we know, Jack is just one of those entities that poses many questions not only based on the entity's design, but also its rare occurrences such as his famous red rooms, and also being able to just randomly jump scare players when they least expect it. The entity was created by an individual named Wowzers, and we were able to contact them in order to obtain accurate information behind the creation of this interesting monster. An initial startup for this entity actually came from Rousers as they stated that the two things that inspired them for Jack were mainly deadpan black and white monsters and a drawing that they saw while scrolling on social media a while back. Some other creations that inspired Rousers with the design did include Gaster from Undertale featuring that same similar appearance. I'm Scared, which is another indie horror game released back in 2012, and also Yuboa, which is actually a musical group but with a cool logo with a similar style. Honestly, never would have thought that Undertale would have anything to do with Jack's appearance, especially in a side-by-side -side comparison, but that's great news, especially for all the fans out there. Wowzers was then able to start their work on drawing that Jack would eventually become around 2021. But before being able to show the developers the project, according to them, Splash originally created a weird stickman creature for the Jack jump scare as it was supposed to be just that. A quick jump scare to catch players off guard, sort of like what a pyrophobia does. I pitched the idea of my drawing and he seemed to be more in favor of it. Honestly, the original concept for Jack was only going to be a simple stick man exactly like this. So I'm really glad that they were able to stick with the modern look. Also, keep in mind, during this time, Jack wasn't even named at this point. The entity was labeled as a quote-unquote mobile entity, which would have consisted of an old red version of Ambush along with Jack as well. But that version of Ambush was scrapped and Jack was left alone as its own unique entity. Eventually, his name was changed to Jack, especially as Rouser states that Red decided on the name because of an inside joke between the development group where he edited Jack in one of those Wojak memes, and I guess he liked the joke so much that he made it its name. And indeed, those Wojak memes are really troll. Of course, the original design for Jack at this point was different compared to its modern day version. Wowser goes on to say that his first design carried to Jack's final version with some minor changes in details. I do have this early footage of it being animated rather than a static image. Here's actually the video provided by Wowzers, which showcases Jack's original jump scare animation as it features the face of the entity changing to a deep red color several times per second while also shifting the face of the entity at the same time. Very interesting take. It makes more sense why they decided to turn Jack into a static image though, especially for implementation purposes. As for the mechanics of the entity, however, it has two major functions. One being a jump scare inside closets with a 1 out of 20 chance, and also being a jump scare within rooms, turning them red at a 1 out of 2000 chance as well. Wowzers does mention that it was originally made a rare jump scare as we thought it would be funny when someone would encounter Jack. Tell their friends about it, and then they'll think they're crazy since they didn't have any footage. Mind you, this is when Jack was just a 1 out of 2000 chance to encounter and not a 1 out of 20 chance from closets. So the wardrobe version of Jack was a much later feature that was added to the entity which is interesting to note. Now the jump scare within the closet is cool and all but I'm sure you all want to know the origin of the undoubtedly rare red room. Well good news and bad news about that. 
The bad news is that Wowzers was actually not the creator behind the famous Red Room as that idea actually came from the developers after obtaining the decal of Jack. But the good news is that we're able to directly ask the developers exactly what's going on with those Red Rooms and this is what they stated. The Red Room is just a community name for it, though I don't personally condone the name uh, due to reasons I cannot say on this video. The room is just an effect that appears upon the Jack jump scare that simply looks cool. But, but, but what about the Red Rain and its effects? Well, to me, it seems that this may be revealed in future updates as it's definitely a secret the developers want to keep at the given moment. Even Wowzers theorizes that it's just a cool effect which is why they added it, further suggesting that it's a major mystery still large at hand. Now, those red rooms are truly unique when it comes to Roblox doors, but it's time to dive even deeper within the entity to see exactly how they were able to put it into the game. Since Jack is a static image, it makes sense that the decal was of itself, and simply titled Images Scary Face uploaded by Lightning Splash back in February 15th of 2022. Nothing really interesting to note other than this was the raw version that Wowzers created back then. Since it is a decal, there is only one side to the entity at all times, especially when showed on Roblox, and it does look really goofy, especially when you can shear the image in order to create all sorts of expressions and other nonsense. But what about the sound that Jack makes, especially during some of its jump scares? Not going to lie, after literally an hour of trying to find its original sound ID, it seems that nobody has it except for the co-developer of Roblox Doors, Redables. They were nice enough to point us in the right direction. This may blow your minds, but apparently the Jack Jumpscare sound is a super heavily edited version of this crackling fire audio uploaded by L Splash. Unfortunately, the sound is privated, but Redables was able to provide the sound. Honestly, it sounds like any normal crackling fireplace. And after adding in a ton of effects inside Audacity, we do have something that kind of comes close to Jack's sound. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's kind of close. I'm sure if you play around with the distortion settings, it could come closer to the actual Jack sound. But what did you think of Jack's history? Let us know down below and take care.